All right, guys, we got five things to make your DR10 kit or RTR as good as it can be. Let's get to it right now. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. I am Chad. We're gonna talk about the DR10 today five things so maybe i'll throw in a couple extra bonus things that you should be doing to your dr10 to make it solid and build it better let's get over to the bench and take a look at those things right now now real quick you're gonna see a little bit of parts action going on here so you can see we got a lot of stuff to do on the dr10 we got a few steering upgrades some new tires wheelie bars not on yet slipper we got a lot of stuff coming also the gps we're gonna get that in unfortunately we're snowing we're raining and everything like that but i have been working on the car and i'm gonna show you what's going on right now and what i've done to build it better so these items are gonna be in no particular order but i'm gonna give you my advice the first thing you do if you take a look at my dr10 you're gonna see a lot of stainless steel you're not going to see the original screws that came with it or anything else like that. What I did was use a Team k, &K hardware screw set. Stainless steel screws, way better than the cheap stuff that, that comes with the kit so you don't strip things out. No problems like that at all. They make a big assortment kit, assortment kit that has all kinds of sizes and they also make a smaller scale down kit that is made specifically for the dr10 but it will also come with a few extras for you to have inside of your kit i use these on all my rc cars definitely the way to go the next thing is going to be these beauties right here this is the McAllister racing extended body mount kit now this thing is just a must when you want to start swapping bodies on your dr10 in fact if you have an rdr kit you might want to actually switch to this anyway because it's just going to help get your body mounting out to the corners and in the back a little bit help get a little bit better air performance on your car as well in the front here you can see we eliminated some of the bumper kind of stuff and we can also do all kinds of cool stuff you can see that i actually Actually have went with magnetic mounts on my kit if I take the body and you see all I got to do is boom and this thing is solid it's not going anywhere video coming up on the channel about that next don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so you can check that out now the next item you're not going to be able to see that is inside the transmission and that is the Robinson racing steel hardened idler gear you're gonna to wanna to throw that in there. I think this is pretty much a well-known thing for everybody while you're building this up or if you have an RTR to go ahead, pop that thing in there, switch out your diff fluid. I'm using 500K inside my diff. Rock and roll, never gonna to have to worry about that transmission breaking down with that idler gear in there. Number four, right here in the front, get rid of that sloppy, servo saver and just go with the associated horn the associated horn actually fits perfect in the dr10 kit i've tried the traxxas i've tried a couple other ones an axial the associated one fits just perfect there's just enough clearance in there for everything and depending upon what kind of servo you use up here you can even get yourself a little bit more clearance careful when buying servos this is a weird servo size 38 millimeters that this will fit in here you can put a larger one in if you are willing to remove some material so just be careful i'm scoping out the low profile reefs to put inside mine not too happy about having to spend that much money on a servo but keeping this steering solid and everything up front i think it's going to be worth it and i know that if i go with the reefs it's going to last me for a long time Number five is gonna be some kind of metal back here for your wheelie bar to attach to. Now, so many people are making different motor plates, these motor guards here, all that kind of stuff for your wheelie bar to attach to. You've got stuff from RCRI, you've got stuff from, uh, oh geez, our, um, Drag Race Concepts where I've got this. 
Exotech, you've got all kinds of stuff going on, but stiffening this up back here is just going to be key. So that way you get rid of all that loose floppy plastic, get metal on there. You can see I actually have a metal motor guard. I think they make a carbon fiber one now as well. So that way you can save yourself a little bit of weight if you're worried about that thing. By the way, I did go with the upgraded carbon fiber parts that you can get for your McAllister racing kit. It's like an extra, I think 12 or 15 bucks that go behind here as so you can get a little bit of weight savings, maybe some strength over the ABS plastic, but that stuff's really nice. And like we said, it's pretty much a necessity, makes easy body swapping. We're gonna do a video on that with the whole magnets, how I installed all these on a couple of my other RC cars. We're gonna do one right here on the channel to show you how awesome they are. 12 pounds of force on each magnet. So these the bodies are not going anywhere. So there's so many things, guys, you can do to your DR10 to just build that thing up and make it super solid. These are just some things that I think that everybody might know, or if not, you definitely need to know that you wanna do to your DR10. The screws are a key, whether you have an RTR, get that screw kit, and as you make repairs and upgrades, replace those screws with good ones. You don't wanna strip out any of those black crap steel screws or you're just going to be asking for frustrations when you need to do repairs at your races or anything else like that. The McAllister body mount system is just super important and super clutch. It's going to allow you to just go ahead and get other bodies ready to go. So that way you can just slap those on if you want to do quick changes and all that kind of stuff. I can put this thing on as you can see and just shake it around. We'll show you how to do that in an upcoming video. I think these are good, solid things to do without blowing the budget on your DR10. Now, obviously, there's going to be other things that think you're going to want, things like some pinion gears. You're, maybe you're going to want to upgrade, as I said, your servo. Maybe you're going to want a superpower system like my Hobby Wing or one of those Macklin DRK systems. You're going to want all that stuff. But start with the basics. Make yourself a good, solid car that you can work on, and you're going to be a lot happier in the long run. Thanks for stopping by the channel, guys, and we will talk to you on the next video. Peace.